is The Chris Abraham Show. Hey there, this is Chris Abraham, Season 5, Episode 56 of The Chris Abraham Show. Today, I've walked from Ideos and I'm approaching, uh, I'm approaching uh, the Sherlington, I'm approaching Sherlington by way of Sherlington Road. And um, this report is about scale and perspective and health and fitness and how important it is to remember where you've come from and how much you've advanced and how much better you are. I said this in a few episodes ago. I said that while I've been doing, you know, 10 to 20,000 steps for the last five years, um, most of the time what I glossed over is that the distances I was covering on the map were really short, but they felt like forever. They felt interminable. I was always stopping uh, at a, a bus bench. The bu bus drivers actually started to recognize me and just bypass the bus shelter when they saw me there because I was always just sort of taking a break. Uh, the story that I was telling myself is that I'm just checking my inbox or just checking my tweets or whatnot. But the reason why I'm bringing that up today is because I wrote a blog post, and it's the first blog post I've written by myself in a while, and I plan to write a blog post every day, and I'm carrying around my free write uh, Astro House Ocean Blue uh, No Distractions typewriter in a uh, Rothko um, side uh, bag, uh, in addition to my GORUCK GR1 26 liter, and in addition to my um, uh, Hill People Gear kit bag, um, I got to tell you, the walk from Ideos all the way here was quick and easy and simple and no worries. And um, that's a big deal because I used to look at this trip um, as something I would, uh, as something that would take me a while. And require me to stop at uh, to stop at like a bench or at the at the plaza slash park that they have uh, along um, uh, Sherlington Road, and maybe a uh, stop amongst on a wall. And it felt like a long walk, and now it just felt like a uh, like a like an easy walk. And and I think that you should judge your fitness and you know your general wellness based on how far really close walks, really short walks feel to you. And as you start to just eat up more distance, whether it's walking or skipping or slow jogging or zombie shuffling or jogging or slow running or running or bopping along, whatever. Uh, I know you think five kilometers is a long way, Hell, I think five kilometers is a long way, but I remember when I would run four miles every single day and I was just bopping along and the hour passed easily and I never stopped and then I would stretch and get on with my day and not lick my wounds all the day and the rest of the day. And and now the walk from my apartment to, to uh, actually the walk I've done so far is only one and a quarter miles. And I got to tell you, like, when I would be like, should I walk to Sherlington Library? I would be like, oh, it's a long walk. It's going to completely eat my day. Because it would. Like, I would stop and I would sit down at a bench at the little Sherlington Road Park. And then I would, like, maybe stop and sit somewhere else. And by the time I knew it, it was like, you know, it wasn't like it's been 28 minutes now. It would be 45 minutes or an hour. Like, it would take me time. And now I know it's 
pretty slow walking and I did stop at the convenience store, but I only stopped to get two bottles of water, put them in my bag and then head off again. I also sent my buddy, David Gellis, he uh, texted me with his amazing uh, CrossFit deadlift. And uh, I sent him a link to the article that he inspired me to write. And uh, even though I kind of complain about him a little bit, saying that he is motivating me in the wrong way by telling me what I'm doing wrong instead of praising me for what I've done, it's still when he sent me these texts this morning where he, you know, took me seriously and he shared with me uh, the food that he's eating on Noom and the workout he's doing at CrossFit and what his one o'clock meal is going to be and all that stuff. I was really impressed that, you know, he was actually making me, he was giving me the feedback I need, which is sharing his own uh, particular kind of experience. And, uh, and then, of course, uh, I, you know, need to reciprocate that. I need to reciprocate that to him. Um, and I did that by sharing the link to the blog post. Because at the end of the day, you know, uh, not really much of a texter. But I hope he sees himself in there. I didn't want to mention his name uh, because of search engines. But uh, nobody ever listens or watches or experiences these blog posts. So it doesn't really matter. So anyway, I'm, uh, I'm really excited about the bike ride to Roosevelt Island. Last night, I got to hang out at uh, the uh, fire department training uh, training center, whatever it's called. That was awesome. Uh, it felt like literally an episode of 911. And uh, they only taught us practical CPR, which is 100% compressions at 100 to 120 beats per minute using uh, staying alive, staying alive, ha, 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 ha. And baby shark boop boop a doop a doop baby shark doop 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 baby shark doop 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 mommy shark doop 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 daddy shark doop 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 sister shark doop 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 and there were like fifteen volunteers from Park Run and got to know them. Each one is nerdier than the next, and I love it. I think they're my people and. Today at the cafe, after writing my blog post, I met a guy next to me who was eating this amazing uh, rice curry uh, tofu with brought with him in uh, a plastic uh, uh, a plastic vacuum packed little box. And his name's Chris, and he's studying to be a physical therapist. And we had a great chat about fitness and about self motivation and about working out and about strength training. And he's like, oh, yeah, I do cardio and I do aerobics, but I only lift like for hypertrophy, which is to say I want to look good. He doesn't care about strong or not. It's so funny. Um, very honest. Anyway, I asked him if I should join F45, which is sort of like circuit training, uh, workout training. It's not like CrossFit, but it's so convenient to where I live. But I'm really afraid that it'll kill me or that. Uh, I'll be humiliated or that they won't adapt well enough for me and that I'll hurt myself or feel just foolish or whatever. And I never let that get in the way, but I do, I do have vanity. I do have pride. I do have hubris. I do have uh, feelings of humiliation and fear of being uh, mocked. Because like Mark always reminds me that I was a badass, effortless uh, athlete all through my teens 20s and 30s like from bike courier to rower to wrestler to runner to uh norba mountain bike racer like scuba diver free diver open water swimmer open water diver like all that stuff and now it feels like i can't even remotely access that but what i can access is the fact that my body has recovered my i'm uh, breaking in this beautiful pair i've never used them before but they're Nike, Nike Pegasus Trail 4s, and they're the nicest shoes. Like, they feel so good on foot, and they've got such good, like, uh, cushion that I'm going to see how many of these I can buy up. Like, like they seem like the perfect shoe, and if I wear them for everything, uh, the lugs are just going to get worn out, and I like them so much better than I like the Road Pegasuses. They're just so good. Oh, 
also I'm using a size 14, which is uh, actually my real size. I need to pack up and give away and throw away my uh, size 13 running shoes. They're just not okay anymore. I even tried to wear them without socks and they just, uh, they don't fit. So size 14 from now on. But like, that was such an easy walk. That was nothing. Like tomorrow I'm going to walk all the way to, uh, to the central library over by Virginia square Metro, right? That'll be easy too. Like I don't have the, um, the 30 pound plate in my bag, but honestly, like all that hard work and all the normalization and all the other bicycling and the general, uh, fitness stuff seems to be really working because this was walk was so easy. Like it was just a, like a stroll. It wasn't like a little death march. And I knew that I was really unhealthy and so forth when I assumed that any walk that took more than 10 minutes, I called it a death march. And that's not on the walk. That's on me. That was me struggling with, with heart and with fitness and with persistence and durability and strength and all the other things, the, uh, uh, the ability to endure strenuousness and weight and the weight loss in these great shoes and this great backpack and the lovely day, even though it's freaking hot, it's not humid. And here I am at the AMC here in Shirlington at uh, Campbell and Randolph, and it was nothing. It was, as the kids don't say anymore, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And here's a peace coffee and tea. Ouch. Um, and then I'll be, uh, I'll be in the library and it'll all be good. I don't need any more coffee. I've got an Avion and a, uh, that, uh, it's not called Tonga water. I forgot what it's called. Luau water, Palau water, Guam water. I don't know. And, uh, I gotta tell you, like, you've gotta, you've gotta not allow your adaptation to take away the rewards that your body's been giving you. You need to be like, last time I tried to do this, I, I thought I was just pretending to sit down because I wanted to see my phone. But the only reason I couldn't wait to see my phone is because it took forever to be, you know, on the road. Like this, this was just a half an hour walk. Like it's so easy and simple and I'm encumbered with a bunch of stuff. So here I am at the Sherlington branch of the Arlington Library, right where uh, Signature Theater is right by my favorite place to indulge, which is Damn Good Burger Company, Big Buns, Damn Good Burger Company, which I will not eat because I'm in the middle of an intermittent fast for 20 hours. And I ate, uh, I ate uh, sausage patties, eggs, bacon for breakfast. And then I moved on to cottage cheese and, and a uh, shredded Mexican cheese mixture for lunch. And now it's just uh, cough, black coffee, black tea, and uh, water with salts in it. And that's it. Say, say ça, say fini, say, say tu. Anyway, it's uh, 1401, 17 August, Thursday, season five, episode 56, Chris Abraham show. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Mahalo. The No Agenda show is coming on right now, and I'm a little bit late for it, but you guys were with it. Ciao. for listening to the chris abraham show make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes until next time